I feel like I'm putting so much tape on it. Ah, whoa! Yo, you're not wearing pants? Oh, that's a dress. <laughs> Get out of here! Well, I can't. <laughs> ah! ah! No, I'm just kidding. What is, how do you say it again? <laughs> No, I'm gonna no. say it wrong. How no, do you say don't it? worry, I'll, I'll handle it. Charcuterie? Fine. Charcuterie. Uh, no. Charcuterie? Charcuterie? There's an R. Yeah. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. No, is yeah. it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Charcuterie. Char All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our kitchen for another video. So today is a few days before Christmas, and Crystal and I thought that it would be a fun idea to make a charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna say it wrong. Yeah. So as Crystal is telling us, we're gonna be making a charcuterie board. It's actually the origins are of French of that word, but they are not vegan friendly generally. And what charcuterie means, if you look at the translation, it's a French word meaning cooked flesh. Ew. Yeah. That makes sense though, because whenever you look up charcuterie yeah. <laughs> boards <laughs> online, it's always just meats and cheeses yeah, and then is. like maybe like an olive or two thrown in. But <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of wondered that and never really yeah. looked at why that is. We're going to be making a uh, vegan friendly one today. And uh, I thought it would be just a nice time of the season to kind of show you guys how we put one of these together. And we're also going to show you a couple little bonus uh, dips in it. We're going to be making hummus right away here. And then we're also going to be making an amazing creamy dill cashew dip, which is so good. And then we're just going to be putting a bunch of other stuff on there that we've kind of been uh, collecting and purchasing over the last few shops that we've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll show you guys the nice beautiful board and then we'll sit down and we'll taste it all together and we'll chat about how it all is and it'll be a fun little video. So what do you think we should start with? I think we should start with the dips. All right, should we make uh, the hummus right away? I think so. I don't Let's... think I've ever done a hummus on this channel, which is crazy. Which is so crazy. I've done a hummus it's so sauce. Easy. Yes. My... Sort of. Kind yeah, of it. it's kind of like hummus, but we're going to be making hummus right here, so let's do this. So, we're starting off with two cans of chickpeas. Yo, shout out to the companies that make cans with easy open lids like this, hey? So I'm actually going to be using a blender to make this hummus. Uh, if you have a food processor, that's ideal, but unfortunately, like <laughs> ours, like just broke. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to get a new one of those, but totally works fine with a blender. You just have to do a little bit of work. And if you have something like a Vitamix with a tamper, totally helps out. So the first thing that we're going to do is just take some of this uh, like juice. They call it aquafaba. I don't know why I have all the beans chickpeas get a fancy name for the liquid that's in there. Like every bean has liquid in the can, but all of a sudden chickpeas get the name aquafaba for their liquid. Anyway, we need four tablespoons of the aquafaba. Okay, so that's probably gonna be, that's like two, three, and four. <laughs> and then next you just wanna strain all of the extra liquid off of the chickpeas. So into the Vitamix, ideally the food processor. And next we're going to be using some fresh garlic. So uh, these are absolutely massive cloves and this garlic's really strong. So I'm probably just going to use two and it's probably still going to be a lot. But if you're using cloves closer to this size, you could probably get away with using three. Smash. Whoa. I feel like that is still too much garlic. Okay, I'm going to use just like one and a half of these big cloves. Two tablespoons of tahini. One. Two. And then next, you're gonna wanna use the juice from a whole lemon. And then next, we're just gonna add a teaspoon of cumin. So obviously isn't necessary, but I definitely like, you know, souping up my sauces and dips a little bit. And this is a really nice um, spice that you can do that with in this. And then next, you wanna just add salt and pepper to taste. So a couple pinches of salt. pepper. And that's it. Now you blend. All right. So you know when it starts to make that like <laughs> soft serve swirl that like you're on something good. All right. It smells amazing. So let me just give it a quick taste test before, you know, we put it into a bowl to serve to the rest of the family that isn't here. <laughs> it needs more salt, but it's good. Mm. Yeah, it's really good, but yeah, it just goes to show you when you make these things yourself, it really shows you how much salt they actually put in like store-bought sauces and dips and stuff that you buy because to get it to taste the same as that, you gotta dump like this whole thing in there. <laughs> I actually think I probably could have used all that garlic like right off the bat. Should we throw it yeah, in? Yeah, let me blend it all in there. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. 
Nice. Yeah, like, perfect. So I'm just gonna put this into a little bowl and we'll move on to making the cashew dip. Okay, so now that the hummus is done, I'm going to show you guys how to make the creamy cashew dill dip. And this one's super good. If you don't like dill, you can use other herbs in it, but I think it's super good like this. And uh, you gotta start off by soaking some cashews. So this is a cup of soaked cashews. Uh, it's probably more than a cup now because they absorb water, but yeah, it started out as a cup of cashews. And if you can soak it for about, you know, four to six hours or so, but if you don't have that much time, just use like warm water, should soak for about half an hour and then be soft. So for this sauce, I think we're gonna use the Nutribullet because yes. the blender mm, wasn't, well, wasn't the great last time. <laughs> the reason why is because it takes so much more volume in mm -hmm. a big blender like the Vitamix to, you know, actually get like everything like mixing around. And if you have like one of the wide based Vitamixes, right. it takes even, you know, even more liquid. Uh, so something like this is just perfect. And then if you need to, like you can always like shake it when it's blending. <laughs> But of course, again, food processor would be ideal, but I, uh, yeah, I broke her. So anyways, um, <laughs> let's make the, the dip. So first you just want to discard the liquid from your cup of soaked cashews. So just add those to the blender or food processor. And then you want to add about two thirds of a cup of water and then one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of some spicy brown mustard, and then half the juice of a lemon. So next we're actually going to blend this dip. And I know you guys are thinking like, yo, there's no dill in there. Why do you call it dill? So we're actually going to be adding some fresh dill afterwards so that the sauce doesn't just turn into like some weird green, you know, paste. <laughs> it's gonna be like a nice white one with like nice herbs kind of sprinkled in throughout. So yeah, blend this up now and then we'll chop up some of this after and some parsley, put it in there. Nice. Wow, so yeah, you can see it turned out really nice and thick. So before I add the herbs, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. So we're gonna be using some fresh dill and I'm gonna be using three tablespoons of chopped fresh dill. So just de-stem it the best you can, but it's not a big deal because the stems are pretty soft. So then three tablespoons of freshly chopped dill and then a nice big tablespoon of chopped parsley, also fresh, but again, if you only have dried, that's totally cool too. And then you just wanna mix it all up. I just love how this sauce looks like with all the fresh herbs in there and the dill, it just looks so cool. All right, so yeah, let's try this out. Make sure it's good before we, you know, commit to plating it. Yeah, really good. Wow. Something in it that reminds me of tartar sauce or something. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's like, what kind of like what it is. So, wow. yeah, I don't know. If you like tartar sauce, then you'll probably like this. But if not, it's probably not the sauce for you. And if you want it to have more herbs in it, like you want it to be like even more herby, you yeah. can just add as much dill and parsley as you want. But yeah. I think this is a really nice... Um, it's a like, nice blend. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, nice blend. blend. It's a nice balance. Yeah, I mean, you could go crazy, add cilantro, add, you know, you name it. All right, let's plate this one up and then let's get building the... Char Charcuterie, Charcuterie board. I got it! <laughs> All right, do you want me to grab some stuff? Yeah. <laughs> sure. So we're Whatever. just getting some of the stuff out of the fridge that we've kind of put together to make this board out of. And yeah, we've got some kind of fun stuff that we don't usually try here. So it's mm -hmm. gonna be really exciting to try this. Like we've got some like chutney. That's not a normal thing in our household for sure, but pretty excited to try it out. It's gonna be nice. My favorite thing with all these is like mixing the flavors mm -hmm. and the textures mm -hmm. and everything like that. And like just getting different combinations. And there's so many different combinations that we're gonna be able to make with all the foods on this board. So like, I'm super excited. But yeah, we wanted to tell you guys, this, you know, this is just an example of the stuff that we're putting together for one of these boards. And the beauty of it is that you can like, obviously I don't have to tell you guys this, but you can tailor it to however you want. You can make so many good, like homemade things and then show your family. Um, and then you can also buy some store-bought things, which is what we've also got. Yeah, bought. yeah, we do. So yeah, we've got some cheeses. We've got some like um, pepperoni kind of thing here from Gusta. So yeah, let's chop some of this up and kind of start arranging it. All right, so we're gonna be using our cutting board to put all of this on. On. And when we looked online, this is just generally what people use. You want like a nice big flat surface and um, if you're serving it to like a bunch of people, generally a plate's like too small. So a nice cutting board like this is absolutely perfect. So I think putting the dips down first because they're in bowls makes the most sense. So we have our two dips here and then we're gonna do this chutney. Oh man. 
this kind of big bowl. But nice. It's good for me. Delicious. All right. Okay, and then we'll just uh, maybe do a little bowl of olives here. So we have some olives here. There we go. Got a little bowl for the olives. So we thought these would be fun to try. These are like a beet and onion herb cracker. So we've never tried these and they're from a local British Columbia company. So we thought it'd be nice to support local and try some new crackers. Those are so good. We uh, crapped into them a few days ago and it was hard not to eat them all, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably, maybe that's too much. Maybe some grapes, like maybe like a few right there. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Okay. So here we've just got some smoked tofu. This is a great addition to any charcuterie, mm. charcuterie, whatever it is. <laughs> Yo, just put that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look like little like breads, like little pieces of bread. Yeah, they do. <laughs> little mini breads. So this is new for us. We've never tried this before. Vegan seitan stick. Interesting. Okay. Wow. There we go. All right. So we actually bought some of this Miyoko's Creamery. What is this even? Oh, where where does it say what this is? This is style. Like, what does style even mean? Smoked farmhouse style. Cheese alternative, so yeah, it's okay. all good. Cheese, wow. They have to do all this because you're not even allowed to say cheese anymore. Yeah, that's, is, I know. So ridiculous. Were, was, were you like me though? You were like reading everything, like trying to figure out what the heck this even is? We never buy stuff like this expensive for, you know, sort of our everyday consumption, but we thought, because it's a special holiday and we're doing this video, we thought it'd be fun. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. Was it, I was picturing, I was thinking it was going to be like white inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Okay, I don't think we need to eat all of it right now. This is like, you know, this is already like a $35 meal, so we'll just put that back in there. <laughs> so we've also got some plant-based deli slices, oven roasted. Um, so this is traditionally what you would find in a, on a charcuterie, charcuterie board, is uh, lots of sliced deli meat. So we thought we'd have to at least get something to put on here to kind of make it like a little bit traditional. How should we put this one, like rolls or what? Yeah, roll it. What do you think, like on their edge, like that? I was thinking that because I've seen that before, but I don't know if we'll be able to stand them up. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's different. It's it's, di it's definitely a statement. And then we'll do like maybe we'll do a couple right there, and then we'll do like a few right there. <laughs> there you go. I feel like I've seen it before, where they have them just like kind of like this. Oh yeah, then we could do that maybe other places. Like here, yeah, you know what I mean? Go. Yeah, that, that looks good. Oh, look at that little meat flower. <laughs> on top of there. So we've actually got some Earth Island mozzarella slices. Oh jeez. That is nice. Yes, that looks really pretty. No, no, that looks nice. There we go. Guys, you won't even believe how much these were. I paid five dollars for three tiny figs but i just i thought i had to have it i saw it in a pinterest board and i was like man that fig makes that charcuterie board so look how it all comes together with the figs this is like the, the exclamation point dude we forgot the pickles we forgot the pickles the best part pickles okay well we'll find some some room for pickles somehow a couple pickles here there we go. Wow. Kind of. Whoa. No, it looks good. That is holy. Oh my gosh. Looks like something's like actually growing out of it. I, I, <laughs> I like that. We should do some more over here somewhere. There it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. Christ, we, got it. It. we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. 
So here we are with our giant board of food. We're definitely not eating like all of this in one sitting. It's all like snack food, but <laughs> you know, it was fun to make. And I don't know, this is definitely like something you would have with a family, not just for like two people, but you know, this is uh, Christmas this year. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. Yeah, this would be a great little like centerpiece if you were yeah. you know, able to see your family or if you wanted to make something that you could bring. Like how fun would this be to bring to like a get together? People Yo, would love this. If, if everyone was like, yo, there's some vegan coming to the dinner, yeah, it's gonna be weird, yeah, like, we yeah. don't know what to feed them. And then you roll up with this, people would be blown away. They'd be like, no way, yeah. it'd be amazing. And I think it's it's pretty cool to, like, demonstrate that you can mm. still have, like, creamy dips, you can still have these, you know, like, meaty kind of things, meat right. alternatives, you can still have, like, cheese and all these flavors that you're used to, but without harming any animals. Yeah. All plant-based, it's yeah. amazing. So, yo, let's get into this. Like, I don't even know how or where to start. So should we try the cheese? You're just gonna take a chunk of, yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm take okay. a bite. Well, I'm let's just take, take a, a bite. Okay, let's take a bite of the cheese first. Oh wow, it's strong. Holy. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. That's okay. Wow, that's if we so had, like, smoky. Yeah, if we had like a little knife, that'd be good to cut those with. All right, wow. let's uh, start combining some flavors here. Man, that cheese has just blown me away. Yeah, now I know why it's like really expensive because like they put a lot of love into it, but it's so good. You can tell how much love is in there by the taste, eh? Like she thick. I'm gonna make myself like a little, uh, you know, crackery kind of thing. So I'm gonna start with that cheese. That's, that's nice for you. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of the smoked tofu. Okay. And then I think a little bit of pickle and then some, uh, oh, sprouts. some sprouts. Nice. A little bite right there. Really wow. good. Wow, eh? Mm. I've been really wanting to try this pepperoni. Yeah, let me know how that is. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That's good. Oh, I like the spice in that. Yeah, that's super. That has such a good texture, too. Very pepperoni like. I find this to be really good because it's such like a creamy dip with something like fresher, like the. Oh, um, yes. Like the red pepper. Mmm. The dill. Let me try a few more things. The hummus? Hummus, yeah, I'm gonna go with this little cracker. These beet crackers, you guys, are so good. I know, but they probably can't find them, so don't rave too much about them. <laughs> <laughs> Super local to British Columbia. Try a little hummus. Mm. Mm. I like that the hummus is thick. It, yeah. I appreciate that, you know? It's like, it's, a, it's like a good dip. That is a good hummus right there. I wanna try the mozzarella. I haven't tried the Earth Island cheese before. Oh yeah. It smells very mozzarella-y. Smells stronger than it tastes, I find, but mm. it, it Tastes just very like. It's pretty neutral. Pretty. It would be great for like neutral. pizzas and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me try one. You supposed to like put the figs, like with other things? Do you think, or you just have them? I'm just gonna have it on some. I have no idea, babe. That's all you. Oh wow, I love figs. I'm gonna do some more. Okay, this is like my. Yo, that cheese, that yeah, Yoko's that... cheese is like the the bell of the ball. Yeah, I would. You know. I'm gonna have um that cheese, good. the Miyoko's cheese with some apple because the sharp. Apple yep. and the you mm -hmm. know the creamy cheese go really well together. You get some sprouts on there and a little bit of meat. Look at that bite of goodness right there. There's so <laughs> many flavors going on. Well, I think we'll... we should try the meat flour. Oh yeah, the um, <laughs> the, the slices, tofurkey slices. I don't know. Do you want to split one with me? Sure. It smells a little meaty. Smell. Oh jeez. This one I'm not. Is it? Do you think it's off? Like it's not. No. It's like dog food or something. It's <laughs> terrible. Sorry, Tofurky. I use I like a lot of their products. It does kind of taste like what dog food smells like. It tastes like what dog food smells like. I don't know if we got a bad batch or whatever. Okay, cut that. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's definitely that's definitely not my favorite for sure. Yeah, not my fave. So everything else has been a hit, you know, but those turkey deli slices not for me. Or crystal apparently. All right, so I think that's probably enough of us eating this for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We really just wanted to make like a Christmassy video that was different than we've done in past years. We've made lots of recipes in past years, so check out those videos if it's not too late to make a Christmas meal or if you guys want some other holiday recipe ideas, definitely check out. Uh, I'll put some links in the description down below for those. But uh, yeah, we just seen these charcuterie boards popping up on like Pinterest, on Instagram, and most of the time they are not vegan friendly. They're not plant-based. 
taste and we were like hey with all the stuff that's like out nowadays uh, and all the vegan meats and cheeses and the smoked tofu and everything and uh, with a couple dips that you know we made uh, we thought we could put together something really nice and mm. you know try some things that we would never tried before share it with you guys on how to make this I think we've done pretty well so Merry Christmas and happy holidays from both of us thank you guys so much for all the support this year all right guys thank you so much for watching the video subscribe if you want to see more please hit the like button it helps us out so much and comment down below what else should we have put on here what would you put on one of these charcuterie boards if you're making one all right guys Merry Christmas happy holidays see Bye. you soon no no what okay I could just staple behind here with the staple gun I mean, if you want to. Do we, even, do we even have a staple gun? Oh, I got a staple. Do we have a staple gun? I don't even think I've ever seen you have a staple gun. <sighs> no more staples. That's you fine. have no staples. Oh, my God. God. You, you,